Hi folks, welcome back. I've got another gear video for you today. Uh, it's going to be regarding the Digitech RP1000. Uh, I've been I browse around various online forums. I'm a bit of a gear guy. And I've noticed a lot of people seem to have similar issues with this particular unit. And I'm going to go over a couple of tips on how to, uh, first off, get the same level of volume between all of your presets. And second is how to make sure that the signal you're getting going in and through your RP-1000 is the same as the level of signal you would get if you plugged your guitar directly into the into your amp. Because a lot of people seem to run into the issue where they plug into their RP-1000, they plug their RP-1000 into their amp, they start playing, and they, they find they have to crank their amp up because the signal is just too low. Well, I'm going to give you a couple tips on how to deal with that. Okay, first recommendation uh, and I recommend this before I recommend anything else. That's to go through every preset, hit edit down once. Over here you have the preset level when you hit edit down once and you're in this line. And the preset level default in this unit for almost all the presets is somewhere between 40 and 50, usually in the lower end of 40. Now this is a bit of an issue because I find that even if I crank the master volume, I'm not getting the right amount of level from the unit as I would if I just plug my guitar straight into my amp. So I'm going to boost that preset level and personally this is just me you can choose a level that's a little more comfortable to you I think 60 is probably as high as you would need I happen to just do all of mine at 75 and I go through and I literally set all of my preset levels at 75 and then I usually modify the amp level in each preset to match each other. So. Anyway, starting with this at 75, uh, let's check and see if we have the right signal now going between the RP-1000 or if I was just going direct. Now, if you hit the preset that you have active, it'll actually get you into bypass mode, which will give you the same level of signal as if you were going direct. So let's hear that. It's pretty loud. And then I click on that, go back into the preset. Yeah, I'm pretty close already. Uh, with it at 75. You can imagine though with it at 40, I'll let you hear the difference at 40, what that would sound like. It's almost nothing. So let's get that back up, 75. Whoops. And let's see if we're the same volume. Pretty close. Uh, but we're not quite there yet. And so after, if you've already changed all your preset levels, so they're all around 70, 75, something like that, uh, then what you can do is use your master volume to make sure you have the same amount of gain that you need. I'm going to take it up to 40. That's pretty close. So now I have all my presets 75. I didn't actually show you doing that, but you probably, I'm sure you understand. Uh, and then I just boosted my master up a level, up a little bit, and now I have the same volume that I would have if I was plugging my guitar directly into my amp. And the next thing I want to go over is how to make sure you have the same level of volume between all of your presets. Uh, because setting the preset volume the same for all of them won't guarantee that you have the same level of volume between the two presets. So I've got a patch here. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a dirty kind of patch. It's uh, very busy. There's lots of like those delay, reverb. So you can hear there's quite a lot going on there. And it is pretty loud. Um, <clears throat> so then I have a patch right next to it. It's a, a bit different in the sense that uh, I've got a compressor boosting the signal in front and it's going into a dirtier amp. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of more of a lead. And now, you can hear there's quite a bit of a volume difference between the two. And so how do we fix that? We already set all, I already set all the preset levels to be the same, they're both at 75. The easiest way to do it, in my opinion, especially if you're in a live setting and you need to do make quick changes is just to change the amp level by using this quick knob right here 
Um, you could go down into the amp row and then use the amp level, change the amp level that way. I find that's a little cumbersome, especially if you're in a live setting, you need to do it in a hurry. You find there's a difference that you didn't notice in rehearsal. Um, that That's pretty drastic. And that can happen a lot. And the reason for that is when you set your preset volumes at an overall lower volume level, let's say at home practice levels, little differences in volume when everything's quiet become very large differences in volume when everything's loud. So whenever you're setting these kinds of things, you want to make sure you're doing it at gig volume. So the same volume levels that you would do it uh, in a hall or, or in a loud rehearsal, something like that. Anyway, here's what we're going to do. So I've set... I got preset one here. It's about the same as what I would use if I was going direct. So I know that's about the level of signal that I want going into my amp. And then I'm going to compare that to the next preset. Much louder. And let's say I wanted them to be the same volume. All I would do is take this amp level, drop it down a little bit, save it, see what that is. And that's it. Go through all your presets, do the same thing, and uh, at gig volume, and uh, you should have everything evened out. So once again, like, subscribe, comment on my channel, um, and if you have any requests or anything for videos, then uh, send them to me either through email, through my Facebook, through my website, however you can get in touch with me, and uh, I'll keep trying to make more videos like this. Thank <laughs> you.